Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. It is Friday, June 23rd, 2023, and I am coming on here with another update for wings. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. <laughs> I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers. So go check out my Etsy shop. It is linked down below in the description box. If you could favorite the shop and favorite a few items, it really does help me out a whole lot. Um, there is still a lot of clearance stitch markers left in the shop and hopefully in the next week or two, I will be able to get some more clearance stitch markers listed. So keep your eye out for that. So I live here in the Chicago area and I have one daughter, her nickname is Carrots and one rescue dog, his name is Camo. And this year, along with the past couple years, you guys have helped me with a domestic violence organization that is also based here in Chicago called Wings. Uh, all the links for Wings will be down below in the description box. You can go check out their website and see what they're about. And during the pandemic, they were one of the only organizations that I could find that took handmade donations. Um, I know that I've received lots of emails from people who have donated in the past that they have found somewhere local to donate, and that is so amazing. I always encourage you to donate locally if you can. It saves you on postage and it helps your community. So please feel free to do that. Um, but my contact at Wings has given us a list uh, for every month this year up through October of handmade items that she is requesting. Um, they can be crochet, knit, loom knit, sewn, however you want to send them. So for the month of June, yes, we're in June. <laughs> I don't know why allergies are still so bad and it's June. It should be done by now, right? Uh, for the month of June, they were requesting pencil pouches um, and they were only asking for two per person. So we only have like a week, week and a half left of June. For July, they are requesting uh, doll clothes and the doll clothes can be any size. So 14, I don't even know what size dolls are. Barbie dolls, 14 inch, 18 inch whatever uh, style clothes you want to send in, um, they love getting the doll clothes. Uh, it could be for boy dolls, girl, girl dolls, dolls, um, however you want to do it. And they're also asking for hacky sacks. Uh, and then uh, just to give you a heads up for August, uh, they are looking for toys for boys and toys for girls. And you can do two per person. So two toys for boys and two toys for girls. So you can send in a total of four items. Uh, if you want the full list of what they're asking for for wings, um, it is always in the description box of all my videos, and it is also a pinned announcement in the Facebook group, which is all that stuff is linked down below. So if you want to come and join the Facebook group, that would be amazing. There are three questions you have to answer to join. They're really easy, uh, and you can show off all your stuff there. Like, doesn't matter who you got the pattern from, you just can't, you know, Put patterns on there but um you know you can send us links to the patterns and stuff like that uh, and we love to see what you what you're doing so come on over and join the facebook group so it has been very slow this year for donations <clears throat> and i think one of the reasons is that there's a limit on some of the items that they're asking for um if you guys know anything about charities um I don't really know anything about charities. I only know about this one uh, because I volunteer there every Saturday um, and my contact has very specific items that she's asking for. Um, she's been doing it for a while and she knows um, what people want, what people don't want, et cetera. So uh, that's why there are some limitations this year. But please feel free to donate locally if you can. So today I only have six donations. So it is going to be a very quick update video. Remember to leave a positive comment down below for anything that you see. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave that down below as well. And we're just going to get started. The first two donations I have are actually from two people that are local to me here. And uh, we all got together and had a yarny adventure a couple days ago. And um, they handed me off some items. So uh, from Philip, I have two pencil, two pencil pouches. And these are totally awesome. I don't know where these came from. Maybe um, 
I don't know what that tag is. Maybe that's Walmart. I have no idea. But there's two pencil pouches from, from Philip. And then there are two pencil pouches from Paula. So hi, Philip. Hi, Paula, if you're watching. Thank you so much for donating the pencil pouches. Um, they're doing getting ready for back to school stuff at Wings. So that's why they asked for pencil pouches for this month. Okay, so that's two down. We have four to go. So I am going to just grab the envelope here. So I have this package here. It is from Susan, and she is from a town here in Illinois. And I'm not going to tell you what town it is. <laughs> anyway, I have a card. So pretty. And let's see what she writes. Hello, Rose. Hope you are doing well. The yellow pencil pouch is a pattern by Yarnspirations called Bernat Crochet Pencil Pouch. I watched a tutorial on YouTube oh, called Crochet by Lannery for this pattern. So that is this one, and it looks like a pencil. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she said this is a pattern by Yarnspirations called the Bernat Crochet Pencil Pouch. That is amazing. Susan, I absolutely love it. It's adorable. And then she says the green pencil pouch is called Simple Crochet Pencil Pouch Pattern at Persia Lou by Alexis Middleton. Thank you for everything from Sue. And look at how adorable that is. Oh my gosh, Sue, thank you so much for taking the time to make those and send them over this way. I really, really do appreciate it. You're amazing. Um, all right, we're gonna get the next one here. This one here is from, let me see here, somewhere in New York. Okay, here's a note. I have a note. It's from Alicia. Hi, Alicia. She says, hi, Rose. Here are two pencil pouches for June. I tried to make my own, but it didn't go well. <laughs> Take care, Alicia. <laughs> so here are two more pencil pouches. Those are perfect. Thank you so much. Um, I actually was trying to make a, a makeup bag because I think makeup bags were... March or something or April I don't remember and I've been trying to make this makeup bag for like two months and it's just giving me like a mental block so I, I just can't do it I have it like halfway done <laughs> I don't know what my problem is with it so remember you guys you don't have to you don't have to donate every month and you don't have to apologize if you don't donate every month it's totally fine um, there are certain things that I certainly can't do either that I won't be making handmade <laughs> so no worries all right let me get the next one we have two more boxes guys hang on all right you guys so the next box comes from re and she's from alabama i have this beautiful card and let's see what she says Rose, you are such a great, generous woman. We all are most appreciative for this community you have created and nurtured. Thank you with a grateful heart, We, Also known as CC Lady into creativity. And then she put a heart with a crochet and I have two diaper bags and I knew she was sending these um, and they were gonna be a little bit late. Um, so thank you so much, Re, and no worries because I can see right now that they're beautiful. Okay, so here we go. Here is one and um, she's got a note in the bag, so let me read the bag. Let me not read the bag. Let me read the note <laughs> that's in the bag. Okay, it says, Lisa's crochet had a crochet along this year, so I combined making a mommy diaper, mommy slash diaper tote for wings with this best fowl feathered friend, Cal. This is a male mallard duck who along with geese is part of the Anatoday Anna family. This means that they work together support one another as with animals in the Anna today classification people are interdependent on each other's skills capabilities and unique arrangements of gifts talents or resources if we have if we have as much sense as these waterfowl we will stand by each other in difficult times as well as when we are strong children need our help and encouragement as they grow and flap their own wings so that's the picture of the bird it's beautiful okay so here is the bag oh my gosh are you kidding me Ree? this is beautiful and there is a canvas bag on the inside that is the smartest thing ever because i wouldn't know how to line a bag <laughs> i mean i probably could but it wouldn't turn out nice so it is attached to a canvas bag and it is absolutely perfect because you have the total look of homemade, handmade, 
and the durability of a tote bag inside there. That is perfect. What a great idea. I'm stealing that from you. <laughs> okay, here is another one here. Oh my gosh, this one's even better. <gasps> Three, these are gorgeous. Okay, there's a note here also says, Lisa's crochet had the crochet along. Okay, so this is the state bird of Alabama, the Northern Flicker Woodpecker, nicknamed Yellowhammer because of the gilded gold under their wings. Children are born with their own set of surprises and talents that develop much like the gilded wings of the Yellowhammer. So this is the picture, which was the inspiration for the next bag. And here is the bag, oh my gosh. <gasps> Ree, I love it. You shut the front door, it's gorgeous. This is sparkly and this is the other side. <gasps> I love it. What a perfect idea. You guys, it's one big granny square and then four little granny squares. And then she sewed the tote. So this is a store, oh my gosh, it's awesome. She sewed the tote to the inside of the crochet or she sewed the, you know what I mean, this part to the tote bag. <gasps> It's beautiful. I absolutely love it, Ree. Thank you so, so much for sending these diaper bags. Now, you guys, diaper bags were last month, so don't send any more diaper bags. Um, but I so appreciate you, Ree. That is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so we have one more box, guys. Hang on. All right, you guys, so this box comes from Liz, and she is from Arizona. And uh, there is a card, and let's see what the card says. It says, sometimes it's easy to forget just how much goodness there is all around us. Uh, but you are a beautiful reminder. I hope the kiddos love the doll dresses from Liz. And she says she is called Hooked with Love by Liz. So Liz, if you have a YouTube channel, just leave a comment down below and just say, I have a YouTube channel. And if not, just let us know where we can find you. It looks like maybe Instagram, but let us know. So, oh my gosh, you guys, this is all doll clothes. Shut the front door on little hangers. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me get all these out of the box because they are so cute. <laughs> All right, so no other notes like what patterns th that she used, but you guys have to see these. They're absolutely gorgeous. Remember, there's no limit on the doll clothes. They can be any size um, for boy or girl dolls or baby dolls, whatever you want to send. So here is one of the outfits. Oh my gosh, it's just precious. And it looks like they all are little dresses with something matching. So this one has a matching hat. You stop it. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh, I wanna go get dolls. <laughs> Look at this one. There's a matching headband. These are so cute. Okay, Liz, you have to tell us where you got the patterns. Did you do this like on, a, on the fly or did you get the patterns from somewhere? Oh my gosh. There's a matching headband right there has a button in the back. Oh my gosh, I don't like doing little things, you guys. Look at this little dress. Oh my gosh, that is the sweetest thing ever. If I was a little person, I would love to have these to dress my doll in. A doll. There's another one with a matching hat. Oh my gosh. Here is another one with a matching hat. These are just precious. This one feels like cotton. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. I remember having Barbie dolls when I was growing up. And we also had something called Dawn dolls. I don't know if anyone remembers that. Maybe I'm dating myself. <laughs> Here's another one. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Oh, that one's super soft too. Okay. We've got two more here. Look at that one with the bow that matches this green. Adorable absolutely adorable and here is the last one and it looks like it got caught hold on just a sec here we go with a matching hat oh my gosh liz these are absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna be so excited to bring these to wings 
if you have any uh if you can tell us about patterns or about if you have a like um, a youtube channel or anything please list that down below in the comment section and thank you so so much for taking the time to make all of these absolutely gorgeous dresses so remember guys next month which is only a week away is doll clothes and hacky sacks so um, I appreciate everyone who's ever made a donation to Wings and anyone who's thinking about making a donation and anyone who just watches the video and leaves a positive comment. That's really, really helpful. It's encouraging for everyone else too. Um, so that's all I have. I wanna say thanks everyone for watching and I'm not sure when there will be another Wings update. Um, my, maybe not until July. I'm not sure, but um, you can catch me doing other things on this channel. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.